Hi guys, welcome back uh, to my little series, my little mini series that I'm making. How I made, I keep saying that, how I got my first 1 million views on YouTube. Just to recap on the last few weeks, um, on the, sorry, on the last two videos, um, just to recap on the last two videos that I made, uh, we talked a little bit, bit about finding your niche. If you don't know what your niche is, just put lots and lots and lots of things on there. And then after about a year, look at your stats and find out which video works, okay? And that, that will be your guide for the next year's worth of videos. Just just keep making more and more of what you your stats are telling you that people want to see. Uh, in the last video, though, I talked about um, perseverance, don't give up. If you're feeling disheartened, if you're feeling like nothing's working, just change it up a little. Whatever you do, don't stop making videos. Keep putting them on there. Every video you, sorry, blah, 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 tongue tied. Every video that you make is like a hook that you throw into the sea, okay? You can have one hook to try to catch one fish, or you can have a thousand hooks to try to catch a hundred fish. Every video that you put online is a hook, okay? The more hooks you have in that sea, of viewers, the more views you'll ultimately get. All right, like I said, you can have that one video that makes you a thousand views, or you can have a thousand videos that make you a thousand views. There's no difference. Some people are lucky and they get that one video that does it, but the rest of us, we have to get to that thousand videos. All right, look at PewDiePie. He's got more than 3,000 videos now and he's loaded. I love that guy, he's pretty um, funny, usually. Anyway, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about now. What am I talking about? Let's look at my little list here and we will see. Um, be part of the community. YouTube is a, ah, look, be part, this is, this is, this is gem three, three, all right? Be part of the community, okay? This, this took me ages to learn. This, this is, but if you can learn this now, right at the get go, uh, it, it, it will save you a lot of heartache. YouTube is a community it is a social network for the longest time and maybe it's because of my age like i'm considerably older than a lot of young youtubers um so for, for the longest time i treated youtube like it was tv like i'm gonna watch a video ooh, and then i'm gonna put a video on mm, why is nobody watching the video it's because i'm i wasn't treating it like like uh, a network so the, the trick is to network the first thing is, if you're making videos and putting them on, make sure you're also watching videos. Watch other people's videos and watch them all. Just find, just make sure that you are spending a little bit of time every every week, or if, if you're really like me and you're really serious about making it on YouTube, every day, make sure you just take a little bit of time, whether it's when you're on the toilet or when you're going to bed, like, well, actually, probably not before you go to bed at night, but just, just watch a couple of videos. Find people like you as, as, as well. I mean, like I mentioned PewDiePie before. Yeah, watch his videos. But if you comment on, on his videos, there's a good chance he's not going to read your comment because he probably gets thousands a day. But if you can find people that are more like you, people who are posting in your niche, people who are, um, you know, just starting out, people who only have a few subscribers, watch their videos and, and comment on their videos. Go to their Facebook pages and like their Facebook. Go to their Twitter accounts and like their Twitter accounts. Go, go to them on minds.com. That's another new platform that I've been trying. And, and follow them and like them. And, and, and this is the important thing. Don't be insincere. Because I did go through a little bit of a stage where I basically made a list of YouTubers that I liked and I systematically went to them every day, which is okay, you can do this. I systematically went to them every day and I said, hey man, love your video, you're awesome, you know, and I did that. Now that's okay, but you've gotta make sure you're being sincere because people scent insincerity. They know if you're not the real thing. Like, so many times, seriously, I open up my account and there's someone like, hey man, loved your video. Hey, check out my channel, this channel is really cool. And no, no, don't do that. Don't ever tell another you. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, it sounds like I'm lecturing. But don't ever tell another YouTuber, "Hey, can you check out my channel?" Because instantly they'll know, "Ah, oh, you just watch my video because you want me to do something for you," and that instantly switches people off. That's that's true of my experience. But anyway, so 
Um, there's this one guy that I follow uh, that I consider him to be a YouTube friend. His, uh, he, he's got a channel called Paranormal Junkie. And I tell you what, he is one of the nicest guys on YouTube. Every time, I'd say 90% of the time, and he's got over 100,000 subscribers, uh, he posts videos about ghosts and monsters and like uh, creepy stories that uh, that could be true, you know? And um, every time I post on his video, he writes back and I, I he writes back to me and he says, "Hey, thanks for you know, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend." And 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 every time he gets on onto his YouTube, uh, sorry, every time he makes a video, he he always makes a point of telling his subscribers how awesome they are. And even though his content is scary, you walk away from his videos thinking, "Man, that guy's really nice." That's what you've got to be like in your videos. Be nice. Be the nice guy that that people people love you know if you have controversial videos videos that are okay like um, there are a lot of sorts of videos that are frowned on today like political videos or perhaps your views might be conservative i don't care as long as you're nice about it you know if you can still be a nice guy people will respond to that um so yeah so yeah comment on people's uh so comment on people's videos but then Go to their Facebook page. Like, seriously, this is what I do. This is actually what I do. Like, going back to Paranormal Junkie. When I watch one of his videos, I then go visit his Facebook page. And I comment on that as well. And then I share the, the post that he's got on it. If he's posted that video on Facebook, I share that on my group pages as well. I go to Twitter, and then I, sh I share it on Twitter. And the thing is, what happens is, after a while... These people, it might not happen straight away, but after a while, you form relationships with these people that you're networking with, and they will naturally want to do the same for you. They'll be like, you know what, that guy's really neat, and he shared so many of my videos. I'm going to share one of his videos. I'm going to subscribe to him. I'm going to like one of his videos. I'm going to follow him back on Facebook. You know, th this, this actually happens. If you are nice to people, they will be nice back, okay? It's the same principle. If you're but if you, if you want to go on Facebook and be faceless and cold and not nice to people and or a, a troll or if you want to um, just watch videos but never actually lend that helping hand, you will not reap what you... Well, you will. You'll reap what you sow. If you sow nothing, you'll reap nothing. But if you sow... Um, if, you, if you sow courtesy and if you share people's videos and if you comment on them and you, you make sure that they know, make sure they know that you are their number one fan, eventually they'll become your number one fan. And I believe that with all my heart. Uh, there's another guy, um, V Volticon, he used to be V Decepticon. Uh, he's also one of the nicest guys on YouTube. Um, whenever I comment on his videos, he always comments back. And he's, um, he's been a huge help. On Twitter already, he, he shares and, and, and likes my tweets. You know, uh, they're just a couple of the guys. So, next time you watch a video, make sure you comment on it. This is, you know, make sure you like it. And but please go visit their Facebook pages. And look, if there's someone that you particularly, if there's someone that you particularly like, go support them on Patreon. Go, go, um, just give them five dollars a month, or give them three dollars a month. It doesn't have to be a huge amount. They, they'll be grateful for it. Comment on their Patreon things. Eventually, if you are nice to people, I cannot stress it anymore. If you are nice to people, they will be nice back. If you treat other people's content like gold, they will eventually treat your content like gold. It's that simple. YouTube is a social network. Treat it like a social network. Get on there, make friends. The more friends you have, the friendlier they'll be. Like my little friend here. See, this is Charlotte. Say hi, Charlotte. No, 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 you look, that, that's the camera. See, look. Hey, look, here's the camera. Yeah. See, Charlotte's my friend. She doesn't have a YouTube account, though. Go, fly away, Charlotte. Anyway, I'll see you later. Tune in next week when I'll be talking about the next thing. Uh, uh, yeah, the next thing. Anyway, see you later. Stay tuned.